I made a comment on, that was clipped on an Instagram reel by someone about the fact that we always lie to young women about what's going to be important in their lives. We tell them it's going to be all career. I said, you know, I've worked in female-dominated industries my whole life, and what I've observed is among men and women alike that it's a very rare person for whom career is the most important thing in their life, even if they're men, although it's true for more men, it's true for virtually no women by the time they hit 30. And the amount of vitriol that comment generated was unparalleled, and that's something, because I've had plenty of vitriol generated from things I said, but that was, and it was all young women, you know, talking about how some old white guy like me had no right to tell young women what to do with their bodies, which I most certainly was not. But, but it is, you, you can see a simple pathway there, right? It's like, well, we have this avenue where we can pursue our career and our education and everything else we want, and then we'll be able to solve the problem of having a family. The problem with that is, well, it's hard enough to find a mate when you're 23, 24. By the time you're 30, it's even more difficult. And by the time you're 35, it's starting to become well nigh impossible to find a mate and get pregnant and have a family, especially if you're gonna have more than one kid. And so, well, so there's a, there's a direct conflict there uh, between the avenues that are open to women and the, the need to, to strike while the iron's hot on the reproductive front. Nobody really knows how to reconcile that. I mean, it's odd eh? because women will live about seven years longer than men. So it could be the case that the societal norm could be that women have their children when they're quite young and then go back to school in their 30s. That would actually work out. In principle, that could work out quite nicely, but we don't have the norms in place to make that a possibility. But we have to start addressing exactly this because if we don't, you know, I, I, to me, I, can't, I mean, there's so many ideas today about reproductive technology that are, oh, over, yeah, that right. are overstated. Oh, the yes. Freeze terribly. Your, freeze your eggs and yeah, age right. 40, you know, if you have a partner and if you still have energy that you, you might then. Yes, and everything children. goes well. Yeah, if everything goes well. And you well, have the money. Yeah. And, you and the emotional stamina. All of that. So part of what I'm um, hoping to do through the documentary and my work after this is to just increase awareness, particularly to women, but you need a man as well, so it's both, that the fertility window is much shorter and the ability of children gets harder and harder and harder. It's not just about getting pregnant, it's about being able to deliver, you know, being able to see the pregnancy through to, mm -hmm. uh, which gets exponentially harder very, very quickly. I should mention I interviewed five fertility doctors for the documentary itself, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, each one of them wanted to open up about the challenges because normally they have to sell their services. Right. Normally they have to tell people, think positively, here's what we've done for other people, here's what we think we can do for you. Yeah. What they were telling to me openly, I'm frankly getting quite emotional about it on a couple of occasions was, it's terrible because so often it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Well, know? one in three couples by the age of 30 have pronounced fertility problems defined as inability to conceive within a year of embarking on the endeavor consciously, right? So that's one in three. And of course, it just gets worse and worse as, as age creeps up. And 30 is not that old. And it does mean that women have a damn tight window. It's, it's, it's 13 years, let's say, by the time you're 17, by some standards, you're mature enough to consider reproduction, 17 or 18. And on the, on the extreme end and, and then, well, 35 is the other end of that distribution and uh, you're playing with fire by the time you're delaying, especially if you don't have a partner, by the time you're delaying till, till 35. Especially and if you want three children, you know. Yeah, well, right, I'm thinking just one, you know, and 